Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today this video is about macOS Sequoia 15.1 update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, and now let's begin. Apple today released macOS Sequoia 15.1, the first update to the macOS Sequoia operating system that was released in September. macOS Sequoia comes six weeks after the launch of macOS Sequoia 15. To update your Mac to macOS Sequoia 15.1, Open System Settings, then go to the Software Update section, then check for updates. Here, you can see the update is available for my device. This macOS Sequoia 15.1 update size is around 2.93 GB for my device. Click on Update Now, and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device, and enter the password when prompted. And as you can see, the device has been successfully updated to macOS 15.1, and the build number is 24B83. Moving forward and talking about what's new in this build. macOS Sequoia 15.1 introduces the first Apple Intelligence features for Macs that are equipped with an M-Series chip. Not all Apple Intelligence features are available, but the update includes support for writing tools, a new Siri design, AI-powered focus modes, smart replies, and summaries. macOS Sequoia, like iOS 18, is built around Apple Intelligence, which is what Apple calls its AI features. Apple Intelligence includes a much more capable version of Siri and has content generation tools for doing everything from improving writing to creating images from prompts. Writing tools are available across messages, mail, pages, and more for rewriting, polishing, proofreading, and summarizing text, including emails, notes, texts, and other documents. Apple Intelligence powers new writing tools, which help you find just the right words virtually everywhere you write. With enhanced language capabilities, you can summarize an entire lecture in seconds, get the short version of a long group thread, and minimize unnecessary distractions with prioritized notifications. Apple Intelligence also brings delightful images created just for you. Apple Intelligence enables delightful new ways to express yourself visually, create fun, original images, and brand new Genmoji that are truly personal to you. Turn a rough sketch into a related image that complements your notes with Image Wand and make a custom memory movie based on the description you provide. Apple Intelligence also brings start of a new era for Siri. Siri draws on Apple Intelligence for all new superpowers. With an all-new design, richer language understanding, and the ability to type to Siri whenever it's convenient for you, communicating with Siri is more natural than ever. Equipped with awareness of your personal context, the ability to take action in and across apps, and product knowledge about your device's features and settings, Siri will be able to assist you like never before. Great powers come with great privacy. Apple Intelligence is designed to protect your privacy at every step. It's integrated into the core of your iPhone, iPad, and Mac through on-device processing. So it's aware of your personal information without collecting your personal information. And with groundbreaking private cloud compute, Apple Intelligence can draw on larger server-based models running on Apple Silicon to handle more complex requests for you while protecting your privacy. Also, ChatGPT is seamlessly integrated with ChatGPT from OpenAI integrated into Siri and writing tools, you get even more expertise when it might be helpful for you. No need to jump between tools. Siri can tap into ChatGPT for certain requests, including questions about photos or documents. And with Compose and writing tools, you can create and illustrate original content from scratch. You control when ChatGPT is used and will be asked before any information is shared. Anyone can access ChatGPT for free without creating an account. ChatGPT subscribers can connect accounts to access paid features within these experiences. Also, there are new possibilities for your favorite apps. 
New app intents, APIs, and frameworks make it incredibly easy for developers to integrate system-level features like Siri, writing tools, and image playground into your favorite apps. Now looking at the compatibility of devices that are compatible with Apple Intelligence. So Apple Intelligence won't be available for any Intel-powered Macs. Apple Intelligence will start off with any Apple Silicon-powered Macs. Apple Intelligence is free to use and will initially be available in US English, coming in beta this fall. So, that was all about the Apple's intelligence coming this fall to the macOS Sequoia. Next to Apple Intelligence, in macOS Sequoia, we're getting a continuity feature for iPhone. With iPhone mirroring, you can view what's on your iPhone and control it too, without having to reach for it. Access your iPhone anytime using the iPhone mirroring app in the dock. You can fully interact with your iPhone and its apps wirelessly using your Mac keyboard, trackpad, or mouse. And your iPhone stays locked so no one else can access it or see what you're doing. You'll get your iPhone notifications on Mac and will have seamless drag and drop between devices. You'll be able to move files, photos, and videos between your iPhone and Mac as easily as you drag and drop between apps on Mac. This feature will be coming later this year. Next to this, we have a productivity upgrade. With macOS Sequoia, we get easy window tiling. Drag windows to the edge of your screen to effortlessly arrange them into side-by-side -side tiles on your desktop or place them in corners to keep even more apps in view. Tiling with keyboard and menu shortcuts is also possible with macOS Sequoia. Instantly move the app you're using to a tiled position with dedicated keyboard shortcuts. Holding down the Option key while dragging a window shows you a preview of all your tiling options. And the green button on the top left of each window, along with the menu bar, gives you a quick way to choose from tiling options. Windows margins can also be removed if you set the tile windows have margins to disabled. Next to this, we have a new feature called Presenter Preview. During FaceTime, you can see exactly what you're going to share in video calling apps, your whole screen, or a single app before displaying it to everyone. Along with the preview, there are other controls to change what in the screen is being shared and to stop sharing the screen entirely. Also, we have a new feature called Background Replacements. You can now express yourself or just hide the laundry behind you with beautiful built-in backgrounds or your own photos while industry-leading segmentation technology helps you look your best. Next to this, we have a big update for Safari you can now quickly pull up relevant info from a site. Also, a smarter, redesigned reader can be accessed with a table of contents and high-level summary. Also, in Safari, you can have more control over web video. When Safari detects a video on a page, Video Viewer helps you put it front and center while still giving you full access to system playback controls. Next to this, we have a separate password app. Passwords app helps you keep Rakeem all your credentials in one place. Backed by secure end-to-end -end encryption and seamless syncing, the Passwords app safely stores all your credentials. It lets you filter and sort accounts by recently created credential type or whether an account is in a shared group to quickly find accounts you're looking for. From passwords to verifications and security alerts, find them all securely stored in the Passwords app. It's securely synced across devices and apps. Works across Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Vision Pro, and Windows. Access the Passwords app on Mac, iPhone, iPad, and Apple Vision Pro, and on Windows with the iCloud for Windows app. All the passwords sync securely across your devices, and if you use Autofill, your passwords will automatically be added to the Passwords app. Next to this, we have updated messages, all new ways to play with text. Type with tone, flair, and feeling. With the updated messages, you can schedule a message with Send Later. Whether it's too late at night or too important to forget, you can now schedule a message to send at a specified time. In addition to bold, italics, underline, and strike through, you can instantly add playful animated effects to any letter, word, or phrase in iMessage. Or let macOS suggest effects to apply as you type. Whether you want to emphasize some major news, bring your emoji to life, or you're just blown away, text effects give you new ways to visually amplify your texts. Some words and phrases automatically display a suggestion, and you can also add one of the many new effects to any text. You can also tap back with any emoji or sticker. 
Now you can send a tap back with any emoji or sticker, including live stickers made from your own photos and stickers from your favorite sticker packs, and quickly access the ones you and your friends use most. Next to this, we have updated maps, topographic maps and trail networks. Maps now features topographic maps with detailed trail networks and hikes, including all 63 U.S. national parks. You can also save hikes for offline access. Browse thousands of hikes that you can save to your other devices, along with any notes you want to add. You can also custom walking and hiking routes. Create and save custom walking and hiking routes with just a few clicks. Choose different route options, including one way, out and back, or a loop. Next to this, we have updated notes. You can now highlight the text you know, with the new highlight style feature. It's easier to quickly mark up your notes and make text stand out. Also, we have a collapsible section, which simplify and hides text with collapsible section headers, making it easy to manage your most text-heavy notes. Apart from this, we have a live audio transcription option. Record audio sessions within your note and generate live audio transcriptions you can search through or combine with other comments, checklists, or documents. Unfortunately, live audio transcription in notes is limited to Apple Silicon machines. Lastly, for notes, we have math notes. Crunch numbers evaluate expressions and assign variables right from notes. The app solves expressions in line as soon as you type an equal sign. Also, we have two of the new wallpapers and screensavers. One is the macOS Sequoia Beta, and the other one is Macintosh. Both of the new wallpapers are available in dark and light mode. So, that was all about the new macOS Sequoia coming with these features and a few more updates to the conventional macOS apps, such as Calculator, Freeform, Weather, Calendar, Photos, and Home App. The macOS 15.1 SDK provides support to develop apps for Mac computers running Sequoia 15.1. The SDK comes bundled with Xcode 16.1, available from the Mac App Store. Regarding AppKit resolved issues, resolved an issue where menu item keyboard shortcuts in the services menu would take precedence over shortcuts for application menu items. Regarding carbon resolved issues, resolved an issue where iBooks author quits unexpectedly when clicking charts or widgets in the toolbar. Regarding data detection resolved issues, resolved an issue where iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs might quit unexpectedly if data detection API is used. Regarding mobile device management, new features, MDM profiles can use the new key force bypass screen capture alert, which allows owners of managed devices to opt out of user notifications for content capture technologies. Regarding messages resolved issues, Fixed an issue preventing iMessage and other third-party notifications from being received while your device is connected on a VPN. Regarding Quick Look resolved issues, fixed, back deploying apps that link Quick Look UI to macOS 11 or earlier might crash. Regarding Siri resolved issues, fixed some of the buttons on the macOS Siri snippets might be unresponsive when using Siri through voice. Regarding Screen Capture Kit new feature. Applications using our deprecated content capture technologies now have enhanced user awareness policies. Users will see fewer dialogues if they regularly use apps in which they have already acknowledged and accepted the risks. Regarding StoreKit resolved issues, fixed in StoreKit testing in Xcode, the offer identifier in the subscription renewal info might be reported incorrectly for offer codes. Regarding Swift Charts resolved issues, fixed, any project that utilizes Swift Charts fails to build when targeting iOS, macOS, or VisionOS. Regarding Swift UI resolved issues, fixed, using if available in Widget Bundle Builder and at Scene Builder crashes on prior OS versions due to unknown OS version. Regarding Swift UI known issues, macOS apps might crash with an exception related to duplicate toolbar items. This often happens when either A, navigation split views are nested, or B, toolbars with IDEs are specified, view.tool, and a new window is created with the same identified toolbar, when true for forward six. Workaround is, A, use applied.docToolbar removing sidebar toggle within the sidebar column of the inner navigation split view. B, temporarily stop using identified toolbars until this issue is addressed. Alternatively, sometimes it might be possible to work around B by moving toolbar items around or rendering them after a short delay. Regarding system integrity protection resolved issues, fixed users might be incorrectly prompted when an app that is distributed through test flight 
attempts to access an application group container. Regarding UIKit resolved issues, resolved an issue where iPhone and iPad apps on Apple Silicon Macs quit unexpectedly when loading UI reference library view controller. So that was all about this build. The rest of the build seems identical. If you want to know more, check out Apple's official documentation for Mac OS Sequoia 15.1 beta release notes. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.